everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video because I'm going to be walking through my teaware collection. Um, I honestly just wanted a reason to talk about all my tea stuff because I love everything I've collected um, and I want to tell people about it. So that's what this is. Um, but before we get started, I just want to say a few things. First off, I'm sorry about the audio quality on this. Um, my mic is having some issues and I just don't have time to fix it right now. So we're just going to roll along with it. Um, the other thing is, I'm sorry if you can hear a dog barking in the background, mic related issue. And also it's the neighbor's dog and it's been going barking for like 15 minutes now straight. Um, and I'm not going to wait for it to stop. So we're just going to chug along. So um, I have been collecting teaware for the last like three years ish. Um, it first started when a friend gifted me a piece and it just went from there. Um, I really love everything I've collected. I'm excited to show it all to you. So I think I'm going to organize this video into kind of three categories. I have first um, my like more classic tea sets. So that's like the very Victorian style um, with like florals and like very classic look. Um, and then we'll mo move into like my more trendy tea sets um, that are like really cute um, and a bit more modern. And then my last uh, category, which is really small, is going to be my oriental tea sets. So like my more Chinese style tea sets. So yeah, let's get into those classic tea sets. Okay, I took off the uh, clock because it was making too much noise um, but also I just wanted to point out that I am wearing um, Innocent World's Tea Time JSK for this occasion. Um, no petticoat because I am just sitting here. So um, let's jump into this. I am going to start off actually with a really special tea set and it is this beautiful teapot and saucer. So let me get it up close so you can see the full thing. It's just a very classic like English style tea set. Um, so my friend actually gifted this to me and it was from his grandmother. Um, so this is like truly vintage, antique, whatever you want to call it. I love this handle. Like it's just, it's really nice to grip onto. And also this teapot is massive. It's huge. It's really nice for like big gatherings. Um, I say that like I have people over all the time. I definitely don't. Um, I need to host more tea parties with the amount of tea things that I have. But yeah, it's it's a massive teapot. Great for like sharing. Um, and also what's really cool is that it kind of matches my dress. So let me grab the tea cup. If you look at like, I don't know if you can see that, but like it's very close. It's like a very close match, which I thought was really cool. Um, so yeah, my friend gifted this to me, really special set. Um, I think it has something written underneath. It says formalities, I don't know. I don't know if it's like a truly vintage or what. I am not really well versed in like what time period these are from and all of that. I think they're vintage. Sometimes they're not. They're just made to look that way. So um, I don't know. Feel free to correct me in the comments. All right. So the next tea set I'm going to show is actually these two. Aren't these beautiful? Look at that. So it comes with like a plate and then a cup and saucer. Um, let me get... A little bit closer so it's just super cute this one's like a peachy color um and that is what the plates look like so these i actually got in um at a estate sales one of our com members um they were having an estate sale with a bunch of like teaware that they inherited um and so i got these for really cheap i think like each of these sets were maybe ten dollars um i think less than that actually because i got a lot um but yeah these are just so pretty i don't have anything else that's green and so i figured like this set was really unique um would be nice to have like a green set like it's very spring isn't that just so pretty on the bottom i think these have something on the bottom 
Let me see. Mm, it says ACD196. I don't know if that means anything. Maybe it doesn't. Um, but these definitely, considering that they were like inherited, um, I think they are like truly vintage. I will say these cups are pretty small um, and they do feel very like thin. So I definitely want to be careful with these. But yeah, this is, um, these are super pretty and they're my only set that comes with plates. My next set is um, this little set from my friend who gifted it to me. I think they got it from a tea house um, in our town. It's this really pretty like purple color and the inside is really beautiful as well. Something really unique about this is the three prong legs. I just think that's so like charming and fun. Um, and then the saucer also just has these beautiful like cutouts um, that makes it really pretty. Uh, yeah, I love this. I just have the cup and saucer for this one. Um, it says Japan on the bottom, so maybe this is from Japan. Um, and yeah, it's really cute. The cup is also not very large. It's like, it's wide, um, which means your tea does get cold faster. Um, so this one's mostly just for display, but she is very pretty and she does a good job. All right, so the next set I have is... Um, this really beautiful set, it's very like shabby chic, um, it's really cute, lots of unique features, like look at this cup shape, isn't that cool? Um, it's got these like, I don't know, scallop maybe, is that, if that's what you want to call it, and then the plate is also really pretty. Um, I got this at the same estate sale as I did the set with like the plates, um, and yeah, this was just, I just thought it was really unique. Um, the bottom says something. Shelley's England? I don't know if you can read that. So I don't know. Once again, if these are from like a certain time period and you know something, uh, definitely let me know because I did not do my research. But this is just a really pretty set. Once again, the cup is a little bit on the small side and it's very thin. So also have to be really delicate with her. But yeah, she's so beautiful and so like springy. Okay, so the next um, item I have is this beautiful teapot. She is so unique and so pretty. I love this like bottom section with the like lines and I love the shade of pink that the flowers are. Um, it's just a really, really pretty teapot. I got this at a antique store in Astoria. Um, She's really pretty. I saw it and I said I had to have her. Um, it's also a really, really big teapot. So this is also super nice for um, sharing. And it says Arthur Wood and Sons, Staffordshire, England, established 1884. So that makes me think this probably is real vintage. Um, but yeah, really pretty. I wish I had like the teacups and saucers for it as well. I don't. Unfortunately, they only just had the teapot, but I figured it was really pretty, so I was just going to get it anyways. So the next set I have is this beautiful floral tea set, um, also just a cup and saucer. This was gifted to me by a friend. Let me get you up close. So that is what it looks like. I really like the shade of pink on this um, and it's like gold and it has a little rose on the inside as well. Um, I think this is from Home Goods. Uh, once again, my friend gifted to me, but I think I've seen this or like something really similar at Home Goods, which by the way, Home Goods is a great place to get really cute tea sets. Um, and you can get like full sets too, which is awesome. And this feels like, this is like a thick um, teacup. So I feel like I can be a little bit more liberal with it and it's a little bit larger so this is a really practical teacup which is nice um i also feel like it matches like this pretty well i don't know i feel like the pinks are like a similar vibe so close enough of a match for me so the last set in my kind of classic collection um it's quite a few small pieces so i'm just gonna like hold them each up one by one um first is it started with this teacup this is tea, the teacup and saucer. It's really pretty. I got this when um, at one of the tea houses in our area when they were closing, everything was on like big discount. 
but like look at that isn't that pretty with like the birds and the flowers um really really cute and this is a good size teacup and it's thick so definitely a very practical teacup um and then so i first i only had these and then i was at home goods and i found the matching cream and sugar um containers so that was really cool so this set is from home goods and actually as i was looking at the bottom it says grace teaware which is also what this one says so this is from home goods um yeah i was really excited to find like the matching sets for it um isn't that just so cute like very spring summer um and these are all very practical pieces that are very usable um when you're actually throwing a party and also they're from home goods so you don't have to worry too much if like one of them breaks you can buy another one um yeah a lot easier to find so that is all of my classic um teaware and then now let's move on to my more uh trendy and like cute okay so we are going to kick off the kind of trendy category with um, actually my first tea set ever, which is this beautiful teapot and this cup and saucer. So this is, I mean, look at like the detail of that. Isn't that just so beautiful? Um, and then the saucer or the cup and saucer, like this cup is big. This is a good size cup. It has a little emblem on the inside. Um, and then this is what the saucer looks like. They're just like really fun to look at and like textured and really pretty. Um, my friend got this for me when I like had mentioned I wanted to start collecting teaware, um, but I didn't have any. And she actually got this on Amazon, um, but it's really nice. And this is a big teapot. So this is um, actually my most used uh, collection for like when people actually are over and I want to actually brew tea for people. Um, this is just super practical because the teapot is big, the teacup is big, um, and they all match. And it also comes with um, spoons as well. So it's just like a really complete set. And then more recently, I was at Home Goods and I found this cream container. So they're not exact but um, it was very similar, so that's why I went and picked this up too. Um, it still has a tag. It was $6, there you go. Um, but yeah, this was just from Home Goods, um, matched pretty well, so I consider those kind of as a set too. But yeah, isn't she just so beautiful and elegant? Okay, so the next item in this section um, is actually going to be, I have two Starbucks um, teapots. So I really like to collect um, Starbucks Taiwan slash like Starbucks Asia goods, especially when they're cute. And I love when they come out with teapots. Um, so the first one, this is like a treasured item of mine. Look at how cute this teapot is. So it's a little pumpkin. This was from their 2022 um, Halloween collection. And I have a black cat. So you know, when you own a black cat, everything with a black cat on it is your cat. So uh, yeah, this is little Mabel. And then the um, handle is like her tail. Isn't that so cute? You can probably tell by the way I'm holding this teapot, by the way, that it's small. Um, it is definitely really small. I think it's like 16 ounces. So that's not really massive. It does have like a, a uh, air, what's it called? Air seal? Um, I'm not really sure why that's necessary for a teapot, but it does have a filter like on the inside when you're pouring the tea. So that's really nice. Um, but yeah, she's so cute. I was actually in Taiwan when they released it. Um, so I was able to buy it in person and bring it back for myself. So definitely a treasured piece, definitely a statement piece. And yeah, I love this. So my next Starbucks um, item is this teapot. Um, this was from, I think their uh, Sakura collection last year, and my friend was in Taiwan and was able to pick this up for me in person. Um, she's really cute. She's also, once again, by the way I'm holding her, you can tell, she's very small. But there she is. I love that the logo is rose gold. I think that's just like a nice touch. Um, it also has a filter on the inside when you're pouring the tea. Yeah. 
I think this is also like 16 ounces and I love that the top is like this like that's the sakura element right like kind of looks like petals um it's definitely not the cutest teapot they've come out with um for the sakura collection but it is really cute and I'm glad to have it in my collection okay so the next set I have and this is also a very treasured set of mine is the Rila Kuma or the Korila Kuma I'll put the full name here somewhere um this just came out like earlier this year slash late last year actually um this was like from their winter collection but it has a little teacup that goes with it isn't that just so cute and like the top is bare ears like love and then it has it does come with a filter which is nice although I don't really use these because I usually want the tea leaf to be able to like breathe um it's like a purple I'd say like it's I'd say it's purple it looked pink on the website but it's definitely purple um it also has a different thing on the other side like look at them sitting in their teacups it's so cute yeah I love this I do wish it was pink and not purple because I don't own anything purple but it's fine I'll take it um and then the teacup is really cute it didn't come with a saucer um, it's a bit more of a practical teacup. It is like a good size though. So definitely good. I will say the teapot is really small. So it's like you can pour two cups and then you have to rebrew. Um, so not super practical, but I mean, she's adorable and like really good for pictures. Okay. So the next item in my collection is, um, most recent edition actually. And it is from, uh, Disney Japan. So my partner was just there for a layover and he stopped by the Disney store and was able to pick up the most recent, like the 2024 um, Sakura collection from Disney Japan. So it's, it says Pooh and Piglet Spring Nap. So it has Pooh and Piglet there. I'm not like a huge Winnie the Pooh fan or anything, but like, look at the saucer. Okay. It's a freaking Sakura and I needed it. So I said, screw it. I'm going to get this and it's pink. Um, and it fits in really well with my collection. And actually, these two have very similar um, shades of pink slash purple. So that's kind of nice. Um, then I can make two cups. Um, and then this cup is a good size and also really thick. So I feel like these newer um, like teacups tend to be a bit thicker so that they're a bit more durable. But yeah, she is so pretty and I love it because my partner got it for me. Okay, the next item in my trendy collection, um, this is not really like, it's more of a mug. This is a mug, but she's really cute. So I decided to throw it in here. Um, this is from a artist in Korea. I think they go by Myostery, Myostery, and they just make the most like whimsical little um, creations. So this is the Sakura Bebe. And she's so cute and perfect for this time of the year. Like just... It's like blushing and yeah, it's so adorable. Um, this artist sells out so fast. I'm talking like in seconds. We're talking like a big, like sugary carnival release kind of level. Um, so I was really happy to get this. Um, it's just like a once in a lifetime situation. This is what the bottom looks like. It just has their logo. Um, it's a good size mug and yeah, good for drinking tea. I actually used to put a little fake like terrarium in here because yeah it's very much of a display but she's adorable um and similarly from the same artist i have this little tea strainer this is actually the first piece i got from this artist um that's what it looks like so it's stained because i have used this um which i think like if you get something you should use it for sure so it's a little bear he's so cute it's a moon bear and then the like stand that it sits on is also a bear it's got like i love the little feet isn't that so precious and yeah it just sits on it like this um and you can it like sits on the edge of your teacup like so um and you can like pour your tea in through it if you if your um tea pot doesn't have a strainer so yeah it's just it's really practical i use it all the time and it's really cute and like look at the little limbs isn't that so adorable 
Anyways, so yeah, this is super cute and definitely a really important part of my tea wear collection. Okay, so the last category is going to be our like oriental kind of Chinese style tea sets. Um, I actually only have two, so this will be really quick. The first one is this teapot. Um, this was gifted to me by my friend, the same one that actually gifted me the first teapot I showed in this video um, from his grandma. So it's really pretty. It's got like some bamboo detailing um, all along it. And this is good for like oolong tea or like jasmine herbal tea. Um, I only have the teapot. There's no tea cups, but there's very similar tea cups that you can honestly find online. Um, very, very small. That's pretty standard for like Asian tea wear. Um, but yeah, you're supposed to pour just like the little, the little cups anyways. So yeah, it's really cute. And the last tea set um, that I'm showing today is this tea set with little bears on it. Is this not just like the most adorable thing? Um, so it comes with three teacups and then this um, teapot that matches it. So I actually got this at a antique store in Vancouver. Um, I think that's where I got this from. I saw it like sitting on the shelf and I was just like, this is adorable. It's got little bears on it. Um, and this teapot is definitely a really good size. It's got like the bamboo handle um, and it has a filter as well, which is super nice. Um, and then the tea cup, once again, it has three of these. It has like the little bears on it. Isn't that so cute? They're just hanging out. Um, I don't use this set super often because this teacup is really small um, and I don't drink like Asian style tea super often, but I just figured it was good to have. And on the bottom it says handcrafted in Japan. So, I mean, I don't know how like authentic it is, but I'm going to take that as it's pretty authentic. But yeah, this is a super unique piece and I'm really happy to have it. So this is where I store my teapots um, and my tea sets. It's in this like Ikea shelf thing in the corner of my house. Um, I have it organized by kind of like style, just like this video. So the top is more of the classic ones. Middle is like trendy and pink. And then the bottom is just the darker colors. As you can see, uh, I've packed it pretty tight. Although, you know, there's there's some space like here and there. Um, but yeah, I'm look, definitely looking for a bigger storage solution. Okay, so that was my whole teacup and tea wear collection. Um, I hope you really enjoy kind of walking through them with me and seeing what I've collected so far. Hopefully I'll be able to collect more. Um, I'm going to need a bigger storage space, but uh, yeah, it, that's a good problem to have in my opinion. I would love to get some of the Studio Ghibli teacups. Um, I think those are really beautiful. And I saw them when I went to the Studio Ghibli museum, but I didn't pick any up and I should have. Um, but yeah, those are some of the ones I'm thinking of that I would love to have. Anyways, let me know what which like teacup or like tea set was your favorite. Um, my favorite changes depending on like whatever I need it for. You know, we have practical ones and we have like cute ones. So I think my favorite right now would probably be like the Corilla Kuma one just because of the bear ears and like how unique it is. Um, but once again, she's very small, but uh, good for like a personal cup of tea for sure. Um, I definitely think I need to throw like a tea party soon. Uh, as spring and summer are coming, I want to throw some tea parties in my backyard and be able to use all of this stuff because honestly, most of the time it just sits in the display case and looks pretty. Um, so yeah, definitely want to get to that. Anyways, um, I rambled enough. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video um, and I'll see you next time. Bye!